What is happening guys, Mike here. Welcome back to the channel for an all new video. Now today we are gonna be talking about a brand that we've talked about in the past called True Clothing. And a long while back, it's been several weeks now, but a while back we did a look at this site, this this brand called True Clothing from the UK. We did this kind of Peaky Blinders inspired video where we put together Peaky Blinders inspired looks using items from their site. And I particularly liked that video because all the items that I picked, all the items that we got from the True Clothing site were what I consider to be budget items. So you could put together the looks for relatively little money. So when they came back and asked me if I wanted to take a look at some other things from their site, I definitely jumped on it because I really wanted to get a look at some other things that they offered and I didn't want to go with the Peaky Blinders thing again because you know I, just, I didn't want to overdo that because I'd already you know at that point I had already done two videos on the the Peaky Blinders look and while I love that I do love the Peaky Blinders look I was actually just very curious to see what else this brand offered. So today I am bringing you a second look at True Clothing and my personal sweater weather picks from their site. <laughs> All right, so once again, the shop we're looking at is called True Clothing, and they offer a ton of different things on their site. They have suits, they have coats, jackets, they obviously have all the old style stuff, like the Peaky Blinders type stuff that we've already talked about, but they have a, a lot of different things on their site. They obviously also have the old style stuff, like the tweed suits, the Peaky Blinders inspired stuff. We've already covered that, so you guys already know they have all that, but they also have a lot of different things on their site that you can look at. I mean, they've got other types of suits, that you can look at they've got shirts they've got accessories like ties pocket squares things like that they've got jackets they've got overcoats sweaters even they've got a lot of different things on their site and we're actually going to spend two videos actually focusing on this brand and the things that they offer and again we already did the Peaky Blinder stuff I don't want to overdo that we may talk about it again in the future I'm never gonna say never because I you know I really love that stuff but I did see an opportunity to look at something else that really interests me and that surrounds the sweater sweater weather time of year and the gift giving time of year and this is honestly my favorite time of year I love sweaters I love jackets I love all that type of stuff and, and then of course there's gift giving which is always good you could even gift something to yourself that's always great in my opinion as well and so what I've done here is I've picked three items here from their jackets and coat section of the site and we're gonna go over those picks and I'm just gonna offer a quick opinion on what came in the mail on and, and the usual things like the fit the quality the look you know my usual thoughts all the stuff that you guys need to know and first up up, we have my first ever motorcycle jacket and I'm still not fully sure honestly if I can pull this off but you know I just I freaking love the way it looked I mean especially because it's not jet black it's actually brown it's got these kind of highlights in there I just absolutely love the way it looks it's like this really nice appealing shade of brown to me and you can see that it does fit pretty good this is actually an XL and just to give you guys some perspective on the fit, I'm 5'8 and 180 pounds. And yes, I know I need to lose a few. I'm working on it, but I'm not afraid to admit it. I'm among friends here, but that's where I'm at, you know, height and weight wise. So the XL did fit pretty well. I went for a measurement of 42 and that's how I came to the, the size. And I think it does fit pretty well when you zip it, it. It does get a little bit tight, but you know, when I leave it unzipped, I do really like the way it looks, but I wanted to mention that it was a little bit tight when I zipped it up. Also, when it comes to the, the leather here, I wasn't fully sure what to expect. This jacket is $79.99 British pounds, which is about 103 or so US dollars. And so I honestly expected it to feel cheaper than it actually is. And I'm not trying to play this off as the same as some, you know, real super expensive leather jacket. I'm just saying that this actually felt better than I thought it was going to. I mean, I thought for that price, it's probably going to feel plasticky or, you know, something like that, but it's actually quite soft. It says it's, it says it's leather on the tag. I don't know much about leather. I, I just, you know, kind of go off feel. That's usually how I do it. I'm not an expert or anything. And this feels like leather. It looks like leather. It doesn't feel super cheap and it's actually very soft. That was the thing that I liked the most. The fact that it feels, you know, really soft. It feels good on your body. It's not, you know, anything cheap feeling like that. And really for 103 bucks, I thought it was a pretty good deal. I mean, I really liked the way it looked. I liked the way it fit. So I thought for that price, it's a pretty good deal. Also, I'm pretty sure you guys probably noticed this, but I'm styling the, these kind of casually. The last one will be a bit dressier, but 
you know, for the first two, I just kind of threw them over a t-shirt because off camera, off YouTube, I, this is what I wear. I, I, this right here this is what i wear I, I i could spice it up and you know make it look a little better but i i just thought i would probably it's probably on more honest of me if i show you guys what i do and how i do it you know instead of making it look like i'm somebody that's seeking high-end fashion all the time or trying to be super fashionable all the time i mean 90 percent of the time you will find me in a t-shirt and jeans that's just where i'm most comfortable and that's honestly what I wear 90% of the time. But again, the last one I'm going to show you is a bit of a, a dressier option. It's a little bit more dressier than the first two. But speaking of the second one here, this one here was probably my favorite out of the three that I chose. Let's take a look at that right here. This is a faux sheepskin leather jacket. And remember, this is all about budget offerings and getting the best bang for your buck. And I felt like for sure we had that here. This one really just felt sturdy to me. It was so far from cheap, in my opinion. It's super thick and really warm. And I, and really, I just loved the look and fit of it. I also really liked the fact that it was $10 less at $69.99 British pounds, which is $90.50 US. And I really thought that was a great deal. I mean, for that price, it looks good. It feels even better when you have it on. And beyond that, it was much different than my usual look. You know, I'm, I'm usually wearing like the same type of coat all the time. So the motorcycle jacket was new. This was a new look for me. So I really thought uh, this one was a great choice. I'm really glad I chose this one. As far as the size goes, the other one was an XL. Remember, this one here is actually a large. So with this site, you really need to pay attention to the sizing guides because you, it's not the same size on every item on their site. So you really need to pay attention to the size guides. I went off of the 42 inch chest again and made my selection there. And we'll talk about sizing there at the end, but I just wanted to make sure everyone knew the differences in sizes here. So this one is an L, the first one is an XL. And then our last one is also gonna be an XL. And speaking of that last one, again, it was a little bit more dressy. I wanted to kind of change it up a little bit. So I went with this herringbone tweed long overcoat. Again, this one is an XL and I love the herringbone pattern and classic look the tweed gives off. This one is just one of those looks where you can dress it up if you need to, or you can go business casual and just pair it with a button up like I did here. I think this is definitely an outfit that I'd wear to a holiday outing or you got Thanksgiving coming up next week. This would be perfect for that or a date night or, you know, something like that. I also really liked the fact that this one was two-toned you know it has like this black section on the collar which I thought was a, a really cool accent really really nice touch there but I did also notice that this one here it felt a bit thin if I'm being honest you know I, I I was a little bit surprised at how thin it was compared to the other two that felt extremely thick, extremely sturdy. This one here is price-wise $69.99 British pounds, which again is $90, $90.50 or something like that in US dollars. And so for a budget look, it's it's not bad. It's not a bad price. But I got to be honest, it was a little thin compared to the other ones, you know, for for the price that you're getting, I feel like with the other two, you're getting just really great quality. And I'm not saying this one's bad quality. I think it fit really well. Overcoats are like a, a tough one for me because some, they, they tend to be really wide in the shoulders. And I think that this one did fit overall very well. And I do think it looks good. I just thought, you know, for some reason, it's just super thin, you know, maybe it's supposed to be like that. I'm not, you know, super well educated in this stuff, but you know, something something about it just struck me as like, wow, it's just very thin. So I wanted to make sure I mentioned that. But overall, I did really like the way that it looked. That was just my my main concern. But the others, again, were super awesome. I really enjoyed looking at those. And I think that those would be awesome options to look at if you're in the market for jackets like that. And when it comes to that sizing, we talked about it a little bit. When it comes to the sizing, this was my main concern. As with other sites, sizing can be just a nightmare especially for someone like me that's not super thin, you know, I'm, I'm a bit heavier. So I, I always, for some reason, end up getting jackets like this from sites that are just three sizes too small. When it comes to this site, I do think that their sizing guide is pretty accurate. I mean, they, they have it either labeled there on a actual size guide under the item, or sometimes they just have you choose your chest size. So if you don't know your chest size, I'd figure that out before you order, because that's really important in getting the correct size. But they also have a very responsive customer customer service team that I also noticed that you're able to chat in or leave them a message or something like that and ask their opinion 
on what size would be right for you. And they are able to get back to you and let you know the size so you can make sure you're getting the correct one for you. But again, this is just part one of the two parts that we'll be doing on this site. Part two will cover formal wear. This site, again, offers a lot of great deals on suits. And again, we already know from our Peaky Blinders video that the quality is pretty good. So I was really excited to get a look at some other suits from this site so we can talk about things to wear to holiday parties and all the formal wear events coming up for the holiday season. Before we close this out too, the guys at True Clothing wanted to offer you guys, my subscribers, a pretty awesome deal in my opinion. And that's if you're interested in picking up an item from their site or looking at some stuff. They, they offered you guys a free scarf with your purchase. And I do think that's pretty cool because any of the jackets that I showed you here today would look awesome with a scarf. So once again, you get a free scarf with your purchase. And if you'd like to check out any of the picks that I showed you here today, I will link them in the description for you guys, of course. And if you enjoyed looking at those picks with me here today, turn that like button blue for me and make sure you're subscribed. That's very important. Make sure you're subscribed and you have those notifications turned on because next week specifically is going to be a heavy week of content. I mean, I got like four videos at least. So make sure those notifications are turned on so you get the alert for all of those. Thank you once again for stopping by the channel today and checking out this video. Take it easy. I'll see you next time.